SCD14ST, a soluble subtype of CD14, is a glycoprotein fragment derived from monocytes and macrophages. It is a biomarker indicating the activation of innate immune cell response to an invading pathogen. As a result of such response, CD14 will be expressed on the surface of various immune cells. CD14 binds to the LPS-LPD complex and activates TLR4. Then, it initiates innate immune response to infectious agents. SCD14 is cleaved by Cathspin D and other proteases. The N-terminal fragments of CD14 are released. Compared to PCT induced by cytokines after bacterial phagocytosis, SCD14ST is a more direct infectious biomarker, which is mediated by pathogens. Pathological studies and clinical trials have revealed that SCD14ST is important for the clinical management of infectious diseases or related conditions, such as neonatal sepsis, prosthetic joint infection, PJI, febrile neutropenia, FN, sepsis, and early infection in trauma. SCD14ST plays an important role in the rapid assessment and evaluation of severity of neonate sepsis. Neonates with sepsis have significantly higher SCD14ST levels than those with non-infective SIRS and normal control groups. This suggests that it could be an indicator for identifying neonatal sepsis, SIRS, and normal control group. According to some researches, SCD14ST levels were significantly higher in neonates with sepsis and sepsis shock. During the first 48 hours from onset of symptoms, its level increased progressively in neonates with sepsis shock, while it remained stable or decreased in patients with other conditions. SCD14ST is also a potential inflammation biomarker for the diagnosis and prognosis of PJI. Research has shown that SCD14ST levels were significantly higher in PJI patients than in normal control groups. The SCD14ST levels dropped significantly in PJI patients after a long period of post-operative recovery and remained unchanged and were significantly lower in non-infected patients. Moreover, SCD14ST is an early diagnostic marker of febrile neutropenia in patients with hematologic malignancy. According to a relevant case study, elevated levels of it were observed one day prior to